Oui, très bien. Oh là là. It's very high. It's very tall. It is very tall. It's a mess. I will try with um, with a mower. Oh, okay. But I don't know because um, the petit caillou. I know. It's uh, the rocks. Ça bouffe du fil. Mm -hmm, I uh, know. String. Yeah, it breaks the string. Mm -hmm. Oh. <laughs> Look beautiful. <laughs> Ça va, Abby? Oui, très bien. Merci beaucoup. So, Thomas and his friend are back, clearing behind here. <laughs> Bonjour. And, oh la la, check this out. They're just, look at that. They've got like a whole tree trunk. Oh, Chloe, stay here. <laughs> we better stay back. Um, yeah, look, there's an entire tree trunk there. So they're obviously getting it well clean. Let's go around this way. Oh my goodness. Chloe, let's not let you get clobbered here. And we have the little digger, so we're going to be putting that to use shortly. Okay, there's a much bigger pile there now. We're going to dig a trench, so that's why we have the little digger. We're going to dig a trench outside the gates here um, from the neighbor's house up to the, the property. And then I think there's a way just inside the gate to connect it. Um, and there's wire, there's wiring that comes from the gate all the way back to here to the basement. So we're going to be able to connect the, the fiber through that, I believe. That's the plan. And then I thought I would just show you here, show you the now empty pool because we haven't had rain for a while. I think I've done this already, I don't remember, but anyhow, it's looking very, it's looking very dry. Today's update, I just had my little French lesson. I do a little French lesson online with, um, it's actually Tomas's cousin. She's very sweet. So we've been, uh, we've been having fun. I'm, uh, I'm, getting, I'm getting better with my passe composé now. <laughs> it's, uh, it's always a good challenge. Okay, that's today's update. Have you? Okie doke. We have Michel the shirtless farmer, although today he's wearing a shirt. I guess it's not sunny enough. It's winter. He's wearing a shirt and shorts. <laughs> and I guess he's going to start digging the trench for the fiber. So I think he's putting on a little shovel. 
a little teeny shovel. Electricity. Okay, so we're looking for ones this yeah. big. Huh. Well, they must go somewhere. <laughs> How strange. With the, the long I put, it should be around the house now. Thank you. For the, ele for the length you put? You yeah, mean? the length I put. Huh. It should be in the house or... How weird. Because this one stopped where the sun is. Yeah. The other one goes... Uh, continued. Continued. You have to huh. make... How strange. So we're trying to find... We have a pipe, an existing pipe, here at the entry. But we can't find the end of it in the house anymore. So, don't know. And meanwhile, yeah, Michelle yeah. is digging his trench. Yeah, we have water. Oh, more water. Go, go figure. So, what's that for? I don't know. Okay. Oh, you know what? That might be the connection for the farmer. No. No? No, because it's a bigger one. Because oh. yeah, okay. it's for maybe some pump. Huh. There is a, on, on all the big tanker on the on the ground. Oh. She should be uh, a pump, pump system for water, water for uh. everything for garden. It looks kind of new, given that it has a plastic yeah, thing. Bah, camion. Let's go see what um, Michelle. Purpose farmer is up to. Let's see if he digs this trench. The problem is, we're digging this trench and we have no idea when they're going to kind of lay the, lay the fiber. They were supposed to come in November. So they're a little late. And maybe like at this for 30 40 minutes. Crazy. All right, the boys are taking the first truckload of basically dead, uh, dead boxwood, which has come from this pile, <laughs> taking it to the dishettery, which is just down at the bottom of the road. It's very convenient. The shuttery is basically a dump. And right now, it's very lovely. There is no fee. You can just dump whatever you want. So they don't charge you. But I think that's going to be changing. So I hope. <laughs> there you go. I'm have to go around, go around Michelle and his bulldozer. Oh my god, you guys, look. I've got a little pair of ducks in my pond. That's the first time I have seen ducks. How fun is that? Oh my gosh. I don't want to disturb them. I don't want them to go. Oh, I'm so excited. Whoops. <laughs> okay, so here we have uh, the trench and they've laid in the pipe that will house the, the fiber. And they've got most of it covered, but they, they finished for the day. So I'll come back tomorrow and finish this. There's an access, I guess, point where two pieces meet. So yeah, now we still have not solved the mystery as to where, <laughs> where the electrical pipe and exits. So that's gonna still be an issue, but anyway, it's coming. Now we just have to wait for fiber. God knows when that's gonna show up. But I'm desperate for it. I don't think you guys probably know this, but <laughs> when I produce the videos, I usually start uploading them at about noon to two o'clock. I try to do them Sunday mornings. 
and often they don't upload until 9 or 10 p.m. at night. So that's how long it takes me to upload videos with the Wi-Fi I have right now. And it's making me crazy. So I really hope it comes soon. Okay, happy bien Across the room When our eyes met I never knew That I could feel this way And it's kind of strange Don't even know your name Okay, so I went to Bordeaux for one day for my chest x-ray and oh my goodness, so much happened. So uh, this all got filled in and the exciting news is that there was discovered an electrical connection that comes under, already comes under the ground here. So it comes under from this way and then it goes actually under the, the driveway already and connects to here. And I'll show you in another video because Chloe is waiting for her her daily walk down the down the, the driveway. But um, I'll show you in the next video. So it took them a while to find the connection. There's a connection under here, I believe. And so there's these big orange pipes that uh, we were going to use. We need to use for connecting the fiber to the house. But they couldn't find yesterday. They didn't know where those ended at the house. So we made Tama made a big, a big discovery today. Um, after quite a lot of <laughs> unnecessary digging, but that's okay. So I'll show you that after. But um, yeah, they got all of the the debris from the roof cleaned out. And then when Tomas put um, kind of a a wire down the thick pipe from the gate he couldn't figure out where it was coming from. And these pipes are much smaller, so this didn't make any sense that, they, that it was coming here. But he kind of heard it in this area, the end of the, the wire. So he dug up all of these pipes that then took him outside. So here he dug outside and found the pipes going this way underneath the, the big driveway so we're outside here basically by the, the front entry here so these thing these pipes kind of go across the road so then he heard the wire in the pipe but it was over here and so he started digging over here and realized 
that there was um, a plate here that we never knew about. It was covered in like six inches of earth. And lo and behold, there are the big pipes that are then changing into small pipes. And uh, he says that there's evidence that there's been mice or something chewing on the wires, which isn't ideal. One of them is electrical. It connects the gate uh, electricity to the house. So it's how the gate opens if the gate, um, if the electric gate opener actually worked. And then there's the gray one is a data. So there's like a little phone up there. So it's like the phone line that connects to the house. So the good news is the fiber is going to be able to just come right here and we have all the wires and all the pipes that it needs to go to get right into the house it's all there it's amazing so that's the good news very excited about that okay so they finished cleaning behind the um the cottage where they discovered sort of a, a cement platform that's all tilted so that the water comes down here here, here. So, um, yeah, it's pretty exciting that basically all these systems. Hang on, I gotta let Chloe out. She's running out. There we go. So, it's kind of exciting. I think what we're discovering about this this property is that it has all these systems that have been built to deal with the water, to deal with everything and they all work it's just that years and years and years of no maintenance has meant that they no longer work so they've dug up all up there they've cleaned up the little roof here although it needs new tiles as i suspected so yeah so it's all been it's all been properly sloped in order to take water away from the back of the cottage so as i say everything was really well built and so now it's just a matter of fixing all the existing systems so that they work properly. And I think once we do, it's, it's going to be amazing. So, yeah, I hope so. Okay, so one more update is that I've almost got the room fully primed now. Uh, I just have to do the door. Um, so, yeah. So next step is plaster. And... Uh, you know, the primer just kind of makes it easy to see where where I need to uh, where I need to sand, where I need to fill in holes. Um, it's just easier to see somehow. This is where the TV was. We're gonna fill in all those. Pull out these plugs. Um, so yeah, that's the next step. Woohoo! A never-ending project. It feels like but I did buy all the paint yesterday, so I'm now committed. I'm committed to wine dark and corn fart blue and palm, parma, parma, what is it called? Parma gray. So there we go. <laughs> Hopefully it's the right color because it's going to be a lot. It's going to be a lot of it. All right.
speaks too loud and laughs too hard and she drinks too much. Her manners and her language makes a grown man sweat and blush, my honeybee. Ain't nothing she would not do for me. She never plays it coy, my bottle of joy. She's the one I've been dreaming of. I'm overjoyed, cause boy, she's my gal. Well, here's what happens when you don't buy enough paint. <laughs> I should have gotten a full three liters instead of a little tiny liter. So a liter of uh, paint here is like a quart. And um, yeah, I just kind of thought I underestimated it, but I got all this done, but it totally needs a second coat. So I'm probably just gonna have to go and buy another three liter three liter can of it. But uh, I also got the ceiling finished and the rosette. So there we go. I am exhausted, but um, feeling accomplished. Okay, well, I've been painting all afternoon, so I'm looking, I'm looking very beautiful. I can see, but the hat is working. Yeah, you can buy these hats on my website, by the way, a little Chateau de Boy hats. Hopefully you won't treat yours as badly as I treat mine. Anyhow, um, just to let you know that I've got a um, bunch of things planned for next year already. There's new, new, blah, blah, blah. No. So um, just wanted to let you know that the sketchbook retreat in September still has one room available. That's the Lapin room. So there's two beds in it. So if you're interested, you could come with a friend and share the cost. Um, and I have been in conversations with a bunch of other people. I'm going to next, no, tomorrow, Sunday, to meet with Kate Hill. And she has so many people... She has such a wide network, so she's got all sorts of people who are yoga teachers and chefs and all kinds of things. So it's going to be, um, she's going to be a really great source for me finding people to come and help with uh, the retreats, which is really awesome. And um, I'm really excited about what's kind of coming down, coming down the pike for next year. And so, yeah, the, uh, the retreats, I think, are catching on. Let me know also if there is a type of retreat that you'd be interested in coming to. It's uh, always helpful to, you know, get some feedback. Uh, yeah, drop me, drop me a comment so that I kind of, uh, you know, I do, I do try and read all your comments. I do better on some weeks than others. <laughs> Just depends on what's going on. There are a lot of comments to get through, so, but I do read them, so um, they are helpful. Okay, so enjoy the video and... Uh, I don't know if this is going to be the end of the video or the beginning. Yeah, I haven't made it yet. So there we go. Enjoy.